Hey. Ah! Oh, I scared myself there. I was trying to scare you. Welcome back, guys. I've been away for some time, but I'm back now, and I'm here to give you an update of what's going on. I have moved to a, not just a new place, a new country. I am now in Sweden for good. Uh, but I moved from London to Sweden. I, I live just outside Gothenburg in a place called Helmstad now. many reasons for this change. I'm really happy for this change. I mean... What can be so different? Language. Swedish people speak Swedish. It's a given. They don't speak English like English people do. <laughs> so it's hard to overcome that. I'm learning Swedish. But it's very different to English. It's completely different in every single way. So it's going to take me time. But the one lucky thing about Sweden is that Swedish people learn English at school. Every Swedish person learns English. Whether, I'm not saying that everyone, not every Swedish person is good at it. Most people are, but they can understand what you're trying to say. So you don't feel too alienated from the whole country, which thankfully for me, knowing English, I can, I can still talk to people, still get by, but obviously learning Swedish is gonna be the way forward for me to integrate into this country properly, which I'm gonna do. The second thing that I found different from Sweden to England, which is never given change, is money. Money, 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 money. So, this is a £20 note, as you English people, or people that's gone to England, will know. Um, this £20 note is not worth what it was worth a few months ago, <coughs> Brexit, uh, but it's still worth something. Uh, but moving to Sweden, and now we've got 20 crowns here, it's, it's completely different currency. Um, when I first went to a shop, I was looking at the prices, I thought every, everything was so expensive. But it's just that this is worth a tenth of this. So this is probably two pounds, around two pounds. Uh, so that takes some getting used to. Going to shops, I'm always still calculating everything in pounds. I need to try and stop that and get used to the currency. But it's natural, it'll take time. Change number three. For you drivers out there, people that drive cars, vans, whatever it is you drive, um, people drive on the other side of the road. I don't want to say the wrong side of the road, because I don't want to cause a debate. But people drive on the other side, they drive on the right side of the road, on the right side. Not the right side, but the right side, you know, not the left, but the, the right side of the road. The steering wheel is on the left side of the car, so it takes them getting used to. The first time I started driving here, I got in the car and every time I, tr I tried to change the gear, I was whacking the driver's w driver window instead of the actual gear stick. I went boom against the door about 20 times before I got used to it. Um, so that is a big change. It is a bit of a mind, but you get used to it after a while, which I have already. And it's been two weeks I've been here. I've not driven an awful amount, uh, but I I'm used to it. Change number four. This one is... Not as obvious change. It's it's the tempo of life in general. I I, I assume um, in London, if you've been to London, lived in London for a while, you will know life is fast. <laughs> People move very fast. People do things very fast, and you have to keep up twenty four seven. It is a fast lifestyle. Everything's fast paced. When you go to the underground in London, and 
you're a, you're you're a Londoner, you're an experienced London Londoner, going to the underground. If you look up at the train times on the underground, if the next train is not within two minutes, their life is going to end. They react like everything is going to end, like it's I don't know some sort some sort of zombie apocalypse going on in the underground. That train needs to be there within two minutes, otherwise all hell breaks loose down below. But here in Sweden, everyone likes to take their time. Everything's a lot slower here, and it takes some getting used to, but I like it. After being in a very fast paced environment for the last five, six years of my life, I'm enjoying, it's like, it's like retirement. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you just slow down towards the end of your life. But it's nice here, I really enjoy it. Change number five. This is another obvious one, the weather. I mean, I mean, it's it's sunny outside today. If you can see there, nice and sun coming into the window. It looks a beautiful day. It's cold outside, but it looks beautiful. But just the other day, we had quite a large amount of snow. And in England, if you see a snowflake, the country just stops. It just stops. The, the, the news reporters will tell you on the news to not leave your home unless you seriously need to. Um, most schools will close, most jobs will probably tell you to work from home or close or depending on what job you're at. And life just ends for 24 hours. In Sweden, you see some snow, people laugh. <laughs> people laugh and just keep going like it's nothing. And then you get these big snow plows to come and just make mountains of snow at the end of the roads. and. It, it's nice. I do like the snow. Not everyone likes snow, but because I'm not used to it, I like it. Just to give you a quick update of what's going on in my life. Um, obviously, I've not posted anything for two or three weeks now because of everything I've been doing moving to Sweden. Uh, it's a big, big, big commitment to make, and it's going. It's going quite as, as smooth as it can at the moment. Touch wood, but. You know, there's still a lot to do. There's, there's a lot going on. Um, as you guys know, as some of you know, that I am a freelance filmmaker. I work in the film industry in London for the last five or six years. Now I'm in Sweden. I, I live about 40 minutes away from Gothenburg, which is a huge filming hub in Sweden, as well as Stockholm, which is, uh, which is only an hour on the plane, which is, when you say plane, it makes it think that it's a long distance away. It's a it's not too far and yeah so I'm building my website in the moment I'll when it's when it's ready I'll put the link down below once it's live um, it's gonna have all my details what I've done in the past uh, my work and what I'm gonna do in the future and I'm gonna be blogging on there too so um, once the link is live please check it out and please follow it we'll also do some traveling as well around Sweden life is an adventure um, so I'm going to use this time to experience different things in Sweden and document everything on my YouTube channel. So that's what to look forward to in the future. But whilst I'm in the transition period, I can't travel all the time. I'm not Jon Olsen, I can't travel wherever all the time, I don't have the money for that. So in the downtimes, I will be doing a lot more filmmaking tutorials, tips and tricks on how to better your film um, so hopefully you stay tuned if you haven't yet already please subscribe like and comment this video and I shall see you very 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 I don't know how very soon it but I shall see you very soon